Hey guys, it's Vic with High Desert Man, and we're talking about a very, very cool uh, little gadget tonight. And I have to be completely honest, I was very speculative about this. Uh, Kevin's been talking about it, he's been using it a lot on his channel at Cigar Prop. And uh, when Kevin first told me about it, I thought it was gimmicky and stuff, but having had it for, uh, I don't know, four or five days now and playing with it, I have learned a lot and so we're going to talk about the Cigar Medics Humidimeter. Stick around. Alright guys, so you, uh, you hit up CigarPage.com or uh, CigarBid or something like that. You score on some really great cigars. They come in um, and uh, you know maybe, maybe the company has been cool and they package the uh, cigars in um, you know good packaging with a bovita pack in there and stuff you think all right these things are on point throw them in my humidor I can start smoking on these and uh, and then you get a cigar uh, you get one of those new cigars out and the burn is all wonky or it's got a hard draw or you know a number of things that can go wrong this little gadget is pretty darn cool and at the price it's something that you almost can't live without it's it's a super good price on this and there is no one who is more pro probably no one out there who's more um, just on the fence about this thing than I was and I'll explain why and I'll explain uh, what this is good for um, okay so Real quick, the humidimeter. This is from Cigar Medics at CigarMedics.com. And uh, is it Medics? Yeah, Medics. And what this is, is essentially it is a, um, well, really it is a wood moisture content meter that has been uh, tweaked and had some um, uh, programming done to make it useful for measuring the relative humidity uh, inside your cigars. Now, uh, if you followed any of the IPCPR 2019 footage, uh, I don't remember if it was half wheel, but there was a, an interview with uh, Steve Saka. He was sitting in his booth and he had this big contraption and I, I can't actually remember what it's called. It's called a uh, psychrometer or he was using that in stabbing all of his cigars and what he was testing was the um, moisture content of the cigars and if I remember correctly that thing was reading I don't remember if it was around 13 percent or 30 percent 30 percent is too high it's got to be around 13 percent anyways what he was measuring it was the actual moisture content <clears throat> now what cigar medics have done and uh, I, I spoke with Lou. Lou is the main engineer behind this thing. Um, and after I had it for a few days, Lou reached out to me. And I had a good conversation with Lou uh, yesterday for, man, I don't know, it must have been 40 minutes or something. And he really kind of gave me some of the background and some of the um, details of, of uh, the testing <clears throat> that went into this thing. And basically what he's doing is, uh, so like I said, this is, this is um, essentially kind of an off-the-shelf uh, wood moisture content meter that um, they had to make a number of modifications to it in order to use it in the way that he wanted to. So you see these two little probes right here, these two little metal probes. So... Uh, they had to move the probes in closer because they were too wide for a cigar and then uh, the real engineering was the uh, work that went into uh, the work that went into calculating uh, relative humidity from the moisture content that's being read so that's really the magic in this thing and it's a really easy device for any uh, cigar person to use you just turn it on it reads zero zero percent. You stick your cigar. You give it a few seconds because uh, it, it takes a little bit for the reading to settle in uh, of what the true content of that uh, cigar is. Why was I on the fence about this thing? It, it was something I should have I should have given a lot more thought to how I was doing my cigars uh, beforehand. 
this thing really opened my eyes up to some stuff. This is the uh, Fox Hirochi Robina uh, collaboration. It's the Eagle, um, yeah, the Eagle size. Fantastic cigar. It's available in the High Desert Man Fox Cigar Collaboration, uh, the tasting kit. If, um, if you don't know about that, I do a collaboration with Fox Cigars, um, I don't know, every six weeks or so, in which I curate five cigars um, that are uh, that fit my palate, but stuff that I think my, my viewers are into as well. And, uh, and I, uh, I curate it, send the list to uh, Rob over at Fox Cigars. They put it together and they throw up a, uh, a private web page uh, with the collaboration. So you can't go to foxcigars.com and just search for it because you won't find it. Um, but you can reach out to me. Uh, probably the best way to do it is in the comments below or um, hit me up on the, face on the um, High Desert Man Facebook page and message me there and I'll send you the link to get that collaboration. When Kevin started reviewing this, the first thing I thought about that I might uh, have an interest in this was I received a box of cigars um, about two and a half months, almost three months ago now, from a guy that I met at a gun show. And they were, it, it was a full box of special cigars that were made for the uh, Navy SEALs. The guy I received it from served in Iraq in 2009 uh, in that time frame. And uh, all the guys that he was with, they were each given a box of these cigars. He did not smoke cigars, so he ended up taking the box, just putting it in his garage. And they've been sitting in his garage since 2009. The box was wrapped in cellophane, unopened. All of the cigars were cellophane. Uh, so he reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to have this box of cigars? Absolutely, I said. Um, so obviously those cigars, having sat in a garage for 10 years with no kind of humidification or anything that came from California, um, they're going to be in rough shape. But my interest was, can I bring those cigars back to the right humidity level to, um, to smoke one and just see what does a cigar taste like after that long? Uh, you know, is it just dead air or, or what? How am I going to really know what uh, that cigar is at when I, when I finally smoke it? So I went through a process over the last three months of slowly bringing the humidity up. I started around 45%, went up to 54%. Uh, from there, I went to 69% and kept the cigars in a 69% environment for, for a full two months at least. Uh, then I received this and I had taken one of those cigars moved it into my regular humidor uh, thinking okay I'm gonna smoke this pretty soon got this thing stabbed that cigar and lo and behold that cigar after all that time at raising uh, humidity levels was still only at 45 percent relative humidity inside the cigar and the cigar felt like it was still really dry. And I thought, this is crazy. How can it be that dry still after it's been sitting for so long at, at this humidity level? And this is where this tool really comes, into, uh, really comes into play. So what I have here is a number of cigars from my humidors that... Um, uh, that are at, at different um, ages, uh, so far as how long they've been sitting in my humidor. This is a um, Esteban Carrera Chupacabra. This one uh, I purchased at a lounge in Fountain Hills, uh, down in the valley. And it's been sitting in my humidor, uh, for in, in one of my humidors, for five months. It's, it's five months or longer that this has been sitting there. Okay, now that humidor for many months now has been running a little high. I've got, um, I've got, the, I've got a whole bunch of 69% um, Bovida packs in that humidor at different levels. And this has been sitting in there for uh, at least five months. So we're going to 
you wait for it, you turn it on, it goes to zero, zero, and then you just stick the end of your cigar, and I can already tell the cigar feels good because there's some resistance pushing that, pushing that meter in there. So right off it started at 67%, so I'm just going to wait here for a second. Okay, we, we, it stopped at 62, but then it went down to 61, and it's staying at 61. So 61%, 61% on this cigar that's been sitting in my humidor for at least five months. My humidor has been running at uh, right around 70 to 72%. Now, let me close this for a minute. I can check my humidor right now because all of mine are Wi-Fi connected so that I can check them from anywhere. So this is my new air humidor. Right now it is at 72.4% and if I go back in the history, I'll go a month back, relative humidity on that has, uh, let's see, I'm at one month, so at, uh, at, at the 1st of October I was at 73.8% and right now it's reading 72.4%. Let's grab another one. Uh, this is a 2016 crowned head cigar that I just received between three and four weeks ago. Uh, my buddy, well, I either got this from uh, Adam Stevens or my buddy uh, Caesar. Uh, so, see, uh, I'm a big Crown Heads guy. All of my fans know that. All of my uh, followers know that. And uh, once in a while, I got some really cool buddies that uh, that reach out to me and say, "Hey, I found some Crown Head stuff," and they ask me if uh, if I want them to pick it up for me. And I say, "Of course." So, like I said, uh, this one's only been in my humidor now for about uh, three or four weeks. And if I stick this one, it's been in that same humidor. And that felt dry going in. 59%. So that tells me that wherever this cigar came from, and it's, it's solid at 59, it stopped there. Wherever this cigar came from, um, either in, now, uh, both Caesar and Adam sent me the cigars in, uh, plastic Ziploc bags with Bovida packs. So they were shipped okay, um, but that tells me that wherever the cigar came from, the, uh, the humidity in the humidor wasn't, uh, wasn't right on. And this is the big uh, um, benefit of having this tool. I'm talking too much. I was on the Bearded Bros show tonight. I'm just, I'm, I'm on top of the world right now. I got to hang out and talk with Kevin and Brad and Lee Mac 912, my bro. And uh, man, it was just awesome. And a lot of guys, Bleacher, Matt, it, a lot of guys showed me love tonight. Thank you so much, guys. I can't tell you, especially right now, I've really been down about some stuff with uh, the channel and High Desert Man. And uh, you guys just really picked my spirits up tonight. So I, I really appreciate it. All right, guys. The purpose of this video is just to add some more content uh, to the overall working of the humidimeter. And um, this, uh, I didn't know this, but this Humicare uh, humidification system is on a battery. There's a battery in there that uh, keeps it running for a while. I've got it unplugged right now with the uh, USB here. I didn't know uh, it had a battery in it, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, so. These, this is the Crown Heads Juarez, and I, uh, I just got these last week, ordered them. Uh, they were on sale at Thompson's, and so they've only been in my humidor for, uh, for one week, uh, less than a week even, about five days, I believe, six days. So we're going to turn on the humidimeter, and uh, we'll see what these are at. Uh, that felt pretty dry right off the bat. So along with the Humicare in this humidor now, I'm also running my restored uh, Boveda packs. And you'll remember 
I, I think I put it in the video that these were completely rock hard. They were dried up and they've been reconstituted. So I've got two of those in there. I've reset this to 69 degrees and uh, or 69 percent humidity. You see this cigar is coming in at 34 percent and uh, I could tell when I poked it, it, it was, it, it poked really easy. It, the probes slid in really easy. So that's, uh, you can tell when the cigar is closer to proper humidification because um, the, there will be some resistance putting the probes into the cigar. So here we have, uh, let's go with, let's go with this one. This is uh, this is from Zeal Cigar. I don't remember which one it is. It's not labeled. Um, but it looks like a big 5 by maybe 54, 50, yeah, 54. And these I've had in my humidor uh, since I was at Brad's uh, shop, which was a month ago, I think. So about a month these have been in here. Oh, and they feel pretty good. It, it, there was resistance pushing it in there. So this cigar is at 68, 67%. Let's give it a second here. I don't know if you can see that, but 67%. So that one's in good shape. Let's test the head on it and see what the difference is between the head and the cap. Seventy one. So sixty seven on the foot, seventy one on the cap. So you begin to get to see, to understand that um, you know, you don't know how your cigars are getting to you, what condition they're in, even if they've been shipped with a bovida. That doesn't mean anything. It just means that they were trying to um, you know, somewhat maintain the the cigar in shipping. But um now this Christoph right here is from the October Cigar Authority Care Package. So this has been in my uh, humidor for one month and at least a full week because I got it at the end of October. So a month and a week. Let's see where it's at now. Now it, it, it didn't feel as good as, it didn't feel as good as the Zeal Cigar sliding the probes in but it there was some resistance but it's coming at up at 60 percent so having sat in my humidor for a month and uh for five weeks now um who knows what it was at beforehand i didn't have this before so i, I couldn't measure it but that gives you an idea of <clears throat> you know th these came from thompson's they've been in my humidor for uh, about a week and uh, they're, I'll, I'll test another one. They're, and I've smoked, I've smoked two of these. Uh, one I only partially smoked because the draw was too tight, I couldn't smoke it. Um, the other one smoked really well. So um, turn it back on. Zero, zero. Now the first one, I, I don't remember what I said the first one came to. Uh, I think it was low 40s or 37% or something like that. 38. So these, these it's just going down. These, these cigars are not in any condition. Uh, so really what I should have done is taken these and like I said in, earlier in the video, have a humidor that is a much higher... Uh, relative humidity and that's going to act as your transition humidor to uh, take new sticks that you get in and put them in there bring it up and e even in your transition humidor probably take uh, several weeks if not a, a few months to to bring these up um, another option is 
it, what I think I'll do, in fact, is uh, remove all the cellophane. The cellophane is just going to slow the process down. So if you remove the cellophane, um, they'll come back to equilibrium more quickly. <clears throat> it, is a, it is a very interesting device. The unit that Steve Sacco was using in that video, like I said, that was measuring um, uh, that was measuring moisture content in the cigar, which is why he was reading 13%, uh, something of that nature. Um, <clears throat> uh, he knows, I, I'm assuming he knows from, from having tested thousands of cigars over all the time he's been in the industry, um, that uh, you know, 13% is where his cigars need to be to, uh, to hand them off and, and say, okay, they're, they're good to go and stuff. But what does that mean to someone like you or I? It's, it, it, you know, we don't know what that, what that uh, equates to in relative humidity. So the guys at, at Cigar Medics put a bunch of effort into coming up with that calculation. And uh, basically, they're, they're, this thing is taking that um, moisture content and converting it to relative humidity. Uh, so that it makes sense to you and I, and so that uh, we know what our cigars are relative to the environment that we've got them in, in our humid um, humidor. 30 bucks, you can't go wrong. It's, it's a good deal. Um, now, what I was going to say was about calibration. This thing doesn't need to be calibrated. It's, it's, um, it's tuned out of the factory, and so what Cigar Medics offer is a little block that's got two screws in it. And that little block thing is, is configured so that when you touch the probes on this to those screws, this should read 70% uh, give or take 2%, uh, I think Lou told me. So 68 to 72%, right in that range, that means your unit is working just fine. There's no calibration if, uh, if you wanted to always test it and check it and you got that little, they call it a calibration standard, that's what the device is called. So you get a calibration standard and you check your thing and it reads at like 50 percent, well then you just reach out to Cigar Medic and say, hey, I've got a faulty unit, it's, it's not reading correctly according to your cigar standard or uh, calibration standard and uh, the guys will work something out with you, I'm sure. But uh, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, sorry I rambled on for a while there. But um, yeah, uh, we're going we're gonna to play with this thing over the next several videos and you'll see it pop up from time to time and uh, we'll see how it works. So until the next video, stay rugged.